Good morning. Our project focuses on micro UAV detection and classification using higher order statistics. This project focuses on detection and classification of micro UAVs using RF fingerprints of the signals. And the second phase focuses on 3D modeling by the use of LiDAR and an IMU. As shown in the block diagram, the first phase consists of two parts, the detection part and the classification part. Before we move on to the detection part, we perform certain pre-processing techniques to improve the signal to noise ratio of the signal and also to downsample the signal by preserving the characteristics of the signal. This helps in reducing the computational complexity of the overall process. In the detection part, we continuously sense the 2.4 GHz band and perform the pre-processing step. After the pre-processing step is performed, we give the signal to the kernel density based decision making algorithm. This algorithm uses a threshold to differentiate the signal between two given hypotheses. One of the hypotheses is only the presence of noise and the other hypothesis states that a signal plus noise is present. A threshold is used to classify the signal into one of the given hypotheses. This threshold is shown as lambda in the slide. In the classification part, the spectrogram of the signal is computed and an energy transient is extracted from the spectrogram. Now we derive certain statistical features like variance entropy, Jacobira and spectral correlation density. And the importance of each feature is determined using neighborhood component analysis. Now the most important features are selected and used for classification using KNN algorithm. The image shows the results for the detection part which contains SNR versus PD that is probability of detection for Gaussian as well as non-Gaussian noise. Here the kernel density based technique is also compared with Bayesian decision making technique and the results are shown. The figure on the left shows the computed spectrogram of the signal and the figure on the right is the extracted energy transient using the spectrogram of the signal. The weights of the features computed using neighborhood component analysis is shown in the figure on left hand side. These weights indicate the relative importance of each features and the confusion matrix shows the accuracy of KNN algorithm on the right side. Now let us discuss about the phase 2 side of this project. Here we have used multiple sensors like LiDAR, 3 axis gyroscope, a processor, camera as well as a display. Uh, this is an extension of the existing project but it's on the application side of the project. Uh, here we compared the various benefits of using camera over LiDAR and LiDAR over camera. It was a great uh, experience to have learned in detail regarding that. But uh, as we have no drones available with us, especially the ones with the LiDAR because they are damn costly, we have stuck to the iPad M1 Pro because it happens to have all the facilities that we need for the project so we just uh, uh, scratched the drone idea and went with the iPad Pro M1 now we consider a LiDAR along with the camera Uh, both will be integrated because uh, we need to understand where we, we are moving along with the three axis three axis IMU that's been given in the iPad M1 Pro all this data would be displayed onto the iPad M1 Pro display that's the XDR display and that's wherein uh, we have worked and focused in this project this is just a proof of concept uh, 
furthermore uh, we can real re really implement the same in the uh, bigger size bigger level using uh, uh, normal programming now we have uh, done a we have created a user interface which will be a proof of concept for the further uh, uh, extension project that anybody can do uh, here i am showing the xcode deployment onto my ipad wherein there is a bundle identifier held devil which would be identified by the apple uh, website on the apple device ipad device when the internet is turned on there are a lot of developer settings uh, that so happen to go around with this project but let's scratch that for, uh, scratch those things uh, in this video now this is the user interface being uh, uh, utilized to collect all the data uh, we can see there are three buttons save stop plane detection which doubles as start plane detection as well and reset button reset button just uh, uh, reiterates the imu to uh, access and start plane detection will start the detection and saving will uh, uh, help us save all those all the dip, uh, object files to any device you want the uh, on the screen now you can see the scene graph which is being generated from the lidar data uh, this so happens to be called so because we just plot the, the different uh, depth points onto a gra three dimensional graph uh, which ha which has been aligned using the imu and uh, so run and uh, understand what's going on uh, technically this is called an object file and which can it can be exported into third exported into third party apps like fusion 360 which is being shown on the display the results and re the results and real time uh, snapshots of the project are being shown on this uh, on the display starting now uh, this is the general uh, display the uh, application view of that and this is this is my room uh, where i started the first iteration and that so happens to be this which is shown on the screen uh, after few ideas and iterations we happen to model my bike as well which uh, happens to generate a different view but there are a lot of errors because our, our, uh, our device is not so high precision so these are this is the brief about this uh, about our project thank you